President uh, Sakyagin. Thank you very much. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank the Terry de Mombral and uh, his wonderful team, and also people in government of UAE, and for hosting us and uh, extended this uh, beautiful and uh, yeah having us here and uh, giving us this opportunity and this is really timely and informative gathering of world community and the experts and I'm learning a lot. I think uh, Ukraine since the start of the Russian aggression they are conducting a textbook example of diplomacy for a long time and I'm one of the uh, concerned global uh, citizens, and particularly yeah, from the global south, I may say. And now this Ukrainian conflict uh, uh, coming to the new, new stage, I think. Yeah, now Ukraine is a little bit fading away from the front page because of the new conflict and new war. And because of that, I think uh, uh, Ukraine should do more. And uh, everything depends on Ukraine, first of all, and Ukraine <laughs> shall, shall have yeah, in, in this war uh, final say because they are suffering a lot. And the one thing we have to think about that what Ukrainians are really saying. Before that, I, I would like to say that I am uh, in, in a relation with Ukraine. I am involved in three issues quite deeply. One is uh, environmental damage. And also, I'm one of the elders which was founded by the Nelson Mandela and others. And I'm the youngest elder. And we are involved with that. And we visited several times Ukraine and met Ukrainian leaders. And also, we are involved with the crime of aggression and humanitarian mission. What Ukrainians are talking about, I think last year in November 2022, Ukrainian President Zelensky introduced his peace formula. That peace formula, if you see, they have 10 issues. But first five issues can be discussed now. Still, they are discussing. They discussed in Jeddah and Malta. And the first issue from the first five uh, thing uh, about the first issue is the nuclear safety. And they are talking about the Zaporozhye issue and the Zaporozhye power plant. Second issue, of course, food security. We can talk, and the all world community, uh, yeah, main players should uh, pay more attention. So the issue, of course, energy security and Ukraine energy uh, power plants, so almost half of them damaged, and they want to restore that. And that's an uh, issue, and we are working with that very closely. Uh, fourth issue, of course, prevention of ecocide. You know, because of the blow of the Kakaoha Dam and all those things consequently happened there. That's really big environmental damage and also land mining issue there. And we are working very closely with that. And I think other interested parties also <coughs> following this very closely. Uh, fifth one, of course, he released the prisoners and also deportees, including those children. I think it should happen and we, we have to talk about that around it. But the second part, of course, there are five issues related with the Ukraine's territorial integrity and withdrawal of Russian troops and, uh, you know, special tribunal and also the security structure and confirmation of the uh, war's end, including the signing the document. Those are the uh, um, Ukraine's peace formula. And also President Zelensky, uh, raised the issue to have peace summit in Ukraine, and before that they are conducting international diplomacy. With that, I will uh, stop here for the sake of time, and I hope uh, next time I will, you will give me a floor. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very glad that you mentioned that 10-point peace plan from Ukraine because uh, that is that represents Ukraine's perspective and. We don't have a representative of Ukraine on our panel, and it's extremely important that we uh, include Ukraine's perspective in, in our discussions today. We did hear from their foreign minister yesterday, and his words are still echoing, I'm sure, uh, in this room. <laughs>